What's up guys, I'm Reckless and welcome to Breaking the Fourth Wall. Today I want to show you guys how easy it is to get 9 exotic pieces of armor in Destiny 2. Now, this is very simple, but it is time consuming to say the least. There are 3 exotics for each class to obtain, so 3 times 3 equals 9. As you can see, I actually have all 3 for my Warlock. Now, what you need to do is complete a series of events starting with the story mission Homecoming, and then, after that, make your way to the farm to speak to Hawthorne. She will give you a mission that will start the Red War campaign. The first mission you go on is called Spark, where you need to go to the Traveler Shard in order to obtain the light back. After completing that mission, go back to Hawthorne, and she will send you to seek out Devrim K in the EDZ. Devrim will send you out on an adventure called A New Frontier. When you complete the adventure, then return to Devrim. He will then give you an item called Com Signal Booster that you need to bring to Hawthorne in the next mission. At the end of the mission, Hawthorne will send you to Titan for the next mission called Hope to find Commander Zavala. On Titan, you will need to complete two missions and you will find many Hive as well as Fallen. In the first mission, you need to clear the area of Hive. Upon completing the first mission, you meet with Commander Zavala and then you have to clear even more Hive in order to restore power to the energy wave converters. But before you can restore the power, you must clear the gears of some Hive gunk that's built up on the gears preventing them from moving. After you restore the power, you will appear in front of Field Commander Sloan and then she will give you a choice of one of three exotics to choose from and all you have to do is just pick one. Now after you pick an exotic, a level 16 version of that exotic will be automatically stored in your vault. In order to get the other two exotics, you need to make another character of the same class and pretty much do the same series of events over again with the new character. Once you get to Sloan a second time, take that new exotic to the farm and store it in the vault. Also, you might want to store all of your tokens and materials in the vault as well if you plan on deleting that second character you created. Then, do everything all over again with the third character. And that's pretty much it. And that, my fellow Guardians, brings us to the end of the video. Like and share it if you felt it was helpful. Subscribe and turn on your notifications for more Destiny content. Feedback really helps out the channel. Thank you guys for all of your support. And remember, own your success, and I will see you guys next time.